Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you're having a good Christmas this year. I know it's uh, very quickly become a lot rougher with uh, COVID kind of resurging again. I definitely feel confident that next year it is actually legitimately going to be back to normal. And uh, I wasn't really sure what to review because I've done a lot of the movies already and I wanted to do something just fun. I think we need it. And honestly, what are we going to be doing a lot of this year? While we're just kind of hanging around with family, can't really see a whole lot of people, probably watching a lot of TV. So today, I want to talk about my top 10 favorite Christmas episodes of TV shows. Now, there are a lot, and I didn't realize this until I was actually writing them all out. There was just so many more than I thought, and they're so hard to pick from because there's so many good ones. I was able to narrow it down, but I do have a couple of honorable mentions. First thing I do want to mention is I have seen The Middle and How I Met Your Mother, but I have not seen them in a long time. And so I didn't include them on this list just because I don't really remember any of the Christmas episodes. But especially for the middle, I know that there were probably a handful that were really good. So I may actually do this again next year with another top 10 and add those in just because there's way more than I was thinking. And I'll probably have seen some more shows by then that have their own Christmas episodes as well. So to start off with some honorable mentions, Christmas Present, The Toaster, and All I Want for Christmas, Everybody Loves Raymond, Secret Santa, The Office, Last Christmas, This Is Us, Amends, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and A Very Big Mouth Christmas, Big Mouth. Okay, so I did lie. It's not my top 10. It's my top 11, because as you all know about me, I am very indecisive, and there were two I just could not pick between, so I'm just making it a top 11. You're going to have to deal with it. But hey, look, the more the merrier, am I right? At number 11, Holly Jolly, Stranger Things. I put this at number 11 because it's not necessarily a conventional Christmas episode. It is a show that takes place, or at least that season takes place, in the backdrop of Christmas. There's something about horror and suspense that actually goes really well with Christmas. I actually just watched Black Christmas for the first time, I think about a week ago, and it's something about a time that's supposed to be nice and peaceful and happy, and something comes along and is just super creepy, there's something about that that's very intriguing, and it really goes well with Stranger Things, especially in probably the most iconic episode of the entire series, where Joyce puts up the lights with letters of the alphabet, and then Will is able to communicate with her through those lights. And that whole thing was just so inventive. It was so iconic. I loved it. I just had to put it in there. And I do love the whole season kind of having the backdrop of Christmas in there because, again, it is suspenseful, but at the end, even though there is a little bit of a, of a cliffhanger that's a little concerning, it is still a nice, happy Christmas ending. Number 10, The Bracebridge Dinner, Gilmore Girls. Gilmore Girls is a show that you have to watch around the holidays, fall through Christmas, because all it is is festivities and fun in Stars Hollow. That's the entire thing, you know, besides the family drama. And this one is one of the most quintessential episodes of that, because they have the entire town, including their parents, and all these other people that they don't necessarily like that much, but come in and they get closer with them into the hotel. And then they all have this dinner and they have carriage rides. And it's a, it's a really cool episode to get to see everybody together. And then also having all of this nice winter stuff mixed in with it. And it just, it just feels very like, you know, a, a family, a community coming together. And it's just, it's so wholesome. Number nine, the one with the holiday armadillo, Friends. This is one of the most iconic episodes of Friends, and that's saying a lot considering there's a lot of iconic episodes already, and if you had to pick between Christmas and Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving has way better episodes in Friends. This one, I think, is the best Christmas one because it's, it's probably, honestly, the one that deals with Christmas the most and also is just the funniest. I mean, when he comes in with that armadillo costume and Chandler comes in and he's like, what the hell is this weird turtle thing is so funny. The whole thing's so ridiculous. And that's what I love about Friends. It's just so quirky and neurotic. And that was one of the top episodes in terms of holiday stuff. Number eight, Christmas Party, The Office. The thing about season two of The Office is it's like the perfect season because it's exactly what we want from that show. It is just them in The Office. Nothing super huge or weird or out of control in terms of plot points but just them reacting to really awkward and dumb stuff that people do in the office. And one of those things is a secret Santa slash white elephant, which are always fun anyway, but when you put it in this awkward setting, it makes it even better. 
And then, of course, it turns into just this fun, booze-filled party. And it's just something about it. It's just small, but it means a lot because it's, like, literally every office party that you have at Christmas. It's fun, but it can also be kind of weird. It was just, it was a really low-key episode, and I really loved it. Number seven, Ron and Diane, Parks and Recreation. This episode isn't all about Christmas, because there is the Ron and Diane stuff, which in and of itself is actually very hilarious. But... The Christmas part of it is Jerry's Christmas Party, which personally I think is the best Christmas episode of Parks and Rec. There's three of them, and I think that's the most festive one, not only because it is very funny, because we get to meet Jerry's wife, Gail, who is unexpectedly hot, but just the entire thing is so festive. Their house is gorgeous, how they do everything. It's the kind of party you want to go to. It's so classy, but fun. They have a Santa, which Andy gets really freaked about, and the fact that Andy and April and Donna and Tom try to go to this this party, but they can't because they were terrible people. And it comes up with a good message and everything, but that led to some really funny moments as well. Uh, Merry Christmas, bitches! Number six, a Benny Hanna Christmas, parts one and two, The Office. Out of the out of the two top Christmas episodes of The Office, I think this one tops it just because there's so much to it. It is a two-parter. But the first thing that's really funny is the whole thing with Michael and his losing Carol and the scene when he's in the office and he just keeps replaying the like 20 second sample of his song and he starts to sing it, but he just won't buy it. I just thought it was hilarious. But the second thing that's really funny is the actual two parties. But I think my favorite part out of that is when they take both signs down and Kevin's like, I didn't see where it was. Like, it's not in the office. <laughs> it's just, there's, it's a lot of great stuff. There were so many great character moments in that one. And it's, all, again, really festive and fun. Number five, Merry Christmas, Johnny Rose, Schitt's Creek. This starts to get into my really favorite ones because Schitt's Creek, I just finished this year and I've actually been re-watching it with my family and it gets better every time I watch it. And this episode, I remember even first time around being one of my absolute favorites. Because a Christmas episode already, it makes for probably some of the best episodes of, of TV series. But this one was especially great because it showed even more of their characters changing. Like their personalities were the same, but their hearts were different. And it was so great because you had all these people who were together with them. They are now immersed in this town. They put on this great Christmas for Johnny and he doesn't even know it. And, and the fact that he wants this and it's something that he's wanted even before they got to Schitt's Creek and they were still this kind of snobby family. I really love that because he really is the heart and, and soul of this show, being the one who wants to have his family together and put everything together. It, it was, I loved it so much. And the tree was hilarious. When they open it up and it falls apart and they have to like glue it together, I was on the floor. Number four, the thought that counts. Everybody loves Raymond. I have a lot of Everybody Loves Raymond episodes on this list and in the honorable mentions because it is a show I've watched for a very long time and every Christmas episode is so funny. But I think this one definitely is my favorite. It has some of the best moments. And the whole premise of it is that he tells Deborah that he got her a really good gift and he hasn't yet. So now he's like scrambling to think of something. And I think my favorite part is when he finally has this explanation where he tries to get from, we were out in the city and I thought of something because I saw it in the window, which isn't true, to how he got to this gift that he got her, a special edition of To Kill a Mockingbird. And he goes, birds in the city, birds of a feather, flock together, flock, mockingbird, Merry Christmas. And it's, it's so dumb and hilarious. And then, of course, Frank chimes in with, I killed a bird once. <laughs> I also love when he's trying to come up with other ideas with Robert and Amy, and uh, he comes up with this great gift. What if I get it this really great, top of the line, primo space heater? <laughs> <laughs> top of the line. Four settings, low, medium, high, off. <laughs> Number three partners, am I right? Hawkeye. Now this episode just aired a few weeks ago because Hawkeye literally just ended yesterday as I'm filming this. And um, it is absolutely one of the best Christmas shows I've ever seen, which is weird because it's a superhero show, but they 
put Christmas into every episode so beautifully and and like the aesthetic of it all went so well with how they were telling the story and, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit more uh, when I do my Hawkeye review next week so I won't get into it too much but this episode specifically was so wholesome because Kate Bishop she comes over to Clint's place and they're both wearing ugly sweaters and they both watch a lot of Christmas movies and they decorate a tree and they kind of hang out and bond and there's the meaningful moments, but there's also just the fun conversation. And it was so wholesome. I loved it so much. It was only like a scene or two, but it was, it just made you feel good because he's all alone. He doesn't have his family in New York right now. And they just spend Christmas together. And I, I God, I loved it so much. And the whole show with all the color lights and everything was just a really great choice for this entire aesthetic. Just having the colored lights was awesome. At number two, Christmas Who, a.k.a. Patchy the Pirate presents the Spongebob Christmas special, Spongebob Squarepants. I am not kidding. I love this episode to death. I remember before I even got the Spongebob episodes, you know, seasons one through three, because they're the only ones who count. I remember before I got those, we would record this every year. And we can only find it really like right around Christmas. That's the only time that they would play it. But I remember it specifically because of the song that they sing. And it put me in the Christmas mood every year. And I think my brother and I, we we try to watch it on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. He would he would come in and we we literally, I mean, we're gonna do it again this year. He comes in and we just watch this 20 minute episode. I don't know what it, what about it is so festive. I mean, besides the fact that it's about Christmas. But, like, it feels so different from every other Spongebob episode. I love it so much. And, again, the song is just... This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. How can you not love that? And at number one, my favorite Christmas episode of any TV series, A Very Supernatural Christmas. Supernatural. I love this episode. It is one of my favorites of Supernatural which again is saying a lot considering there's like a billion episodes, but it, it blends that suspense and creepiness that I was talking about with Stranger Things and Black Christmas into a Christmas aesthetic. It blends that really well with actual fun Christmas and with actual meaningful moments specifically for these characters. Not only is the is the mystery that they're doing really fun in the episode because they have to wipe out these pagan gods and that entire scene when they're about to get killed and they have to try to kill these gods is hilarious. And sometimes those scenes can get kind of formulaic, but that is one of my absolute favorite ones. There's also the moment when uh, Sam and Dean think that they've caught whatever the bad guy is and it's actually just some random drunk guy. And so they just start, you know, caroling. <clears throat> Silent night, <clears throat> holy night, <laughs> all is right. But my absolute favorite moment from the episode is the fact that Sam doesn't want to have Christmas because he's worried that it will be too hard because of the fact that Dean is going to hell in less than a year. But Dean really wants Christmas, and so he puts on Christmas anyway as a surprise. And it's so small and, and minimalistic, but he puts a couple lights on their like hotel room wall, and uh, they get each other gifts, which are like oil and magazines and a granola bar. And oh, I love it so much, guys, because it, it's, it's so small, but it's so meaningful. Well, those are my picks for my top 11 Christmas episodes of TV with some honorable mentions. Like I said, I'll probably do this again next year because I will have seen a lot more shows and I will rewatch The Middle and How I Met Your Mother and we'll probably have a bunch more episodes that I can pick from because like I said, especially The Middle is always good with their holiday episodes just because they can show how crazy the regular family chaos can get around the holidays. Let me know what some of your favorite Christmas episodes are of shows that you've seen there's just so many I haven't seen. There's so many others that are out there that are so good and uh, can be really festive and get you into the holiday season. Let me know what you guys think of that. And um, I hope you guys have a really great, fun, and safe Christmas. Just we'll get through this. You know, just stay with your family. Keep in touch with people. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. 
We're going to get through this. Have a great Christmas. And as always, keep your hopes high, your stress low, and Christmas right in the middle. I'll see you guys later.